Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Ciroc, back with another banger, man. Shout out to everybody that's been showing love to the channel recently and shit, man. Shout out to everybody that's been leaving them likes on the videos, man. Shout out to the notification gang, man. Shout out to all y'all boys, for real. If you got your notifications on, y'all, to this channel, man, you a real one, and I respect y'all all the way 100. Shout out to notification gang, man, and shout out to everybody that as soon as the video come on, y'all hit that like button every single time, man. Shout out to y'all boys, man. Y'all who I do it for, for real, man. Everybody that show real support and real love to the channel, man. I appreciate y'all boys, man. We're on the road to this 3K. You know the grind, man. Shout out to my boy Siden, too. My boys go check him out on YouTube and shit. I was running the mission with him earlier and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Before I decided to decide, well, before I decided to do this video and shit. I was playing with them, him and Shaheem before, so. My boys go ahead and show them niggas some love. But, yeah. I'm getting to this video. A lot of people been hitting me up asking me, like, yo, can you give us any tips and tricks on APB? I want to get a little better or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, fuck it, you know what, let me help y'all boys out. I'm going to give y'all my favorite, uh, my top 10, top 8, you know what I'm saying, tips and tricks for APB console. Man, it could work on PC too, but yeah. Step 1, y'all. But yeah, step 1 is going to be your settings. The first thing you want to get into when you get on this game is your settings, y'all boys. That's the first thing y'all want to do when y'all hop on any game, period. Do not just get in the game and start playing. The first thing you want to do when you get on the game, you want to adjust your settings. Make sure your brightness is up there. On this game, you want to make sure you have a high brightness, too, so you can see everything. Because this game get pretty dark, especially if you got low brightness. So make sure you turn up your brightness. Then you want to go over to the controller settings. You can check your audio gameplay if you want. But you want to go over to the controller, and you want to go to button layout. Make sure your button layout is what you want to be. Mostly everybody usually play on, you know, default button layout or whatever. But you can look through the button layouts and see if you got something that you rather prefer to use. So go through that or whatever make sure i rather shoot l1 r1 so i got that on i could keep yours normal if you want but i prefer l1 l1 and r1 it's more like easier to aim it's more faster to aim with and shoot with to me you know what i'm saying that's my opinion i rather shoot with l1 and r1 but i want to have your sensitivity kind of high at least above a 1.3 and make sure you have your marksman at least a point thirty, y'all that's probably the lowest you can have your shit for real for real and yeah that's about it just make sure i have that down pack all right, step two. All right, now step two. This is gonna be something that a lot of people really don't know, unless you just like a real APB nerd. A lot of y'all really not gonna know about this, but yeah, you wanna make sure you aim your um your controller or your aiming sight, your reticle, whatever you wanna call it. You wanna aim it like right there to the tip, close to the tip of the edge, and then throw your nade right there. If you get it perfectly, right to the tip of the edge, like where the vertex is of the um door, any door, it'll go straight through every single time, y'all. So yeah, you could just watch that back. Play the clip back, whatever you need to see. And yeah, that's basically all it. And yeah, step three. You know, the crazy thing about this is, man, this step right here, yo. This game been out for so long, y'all. And a lot of people still don't even know about this little trick right here, yo. A lot of people don't even know about this little tip or whatever you want to call it. Tip, trick, whatever. But yeah, it's basically like a little exploit. A lot of people use in the game. So if you didn't know, look what I'm doing right here. Yes, basically you can shoot under any car in the game any and every single car in the game you can shoot under i done killed a lot of people like this before y'all i'm not gonna lie i done got a lot of clips and stuff like this killing people they thought they were safe but they really wasn't you can shoot under every single car in the game your teammates enemies any any single one you can shoot them under the car and it's, it's really good to shoot them through the tires too that's one of the best spots but yeah that's a little tip and trick for y'all boys if you didn't know step four y'all but yeah, um, this one right here, I don't really know what to call this one, to be honest. I wouldn't really call this a trick, but I mean, I guess you could call it a tip, man. I mean, yeah, basically it is a tip. So yeah, um, basically, y'all, y'all would want to have this perk right here. This, um, this weapon perk right here. This modification, actually. This, um, this, yeah, it's called three-point sling. This modification right here, y'all, y'all would want this on all your guns. If you could get this mod right here. Try to get this on every single gun you can. It's one of the best mods in the game. Trust me, it's very underrated. You could really pull out your, your secondary, your primary hella fast, y'all. So if you have to reload anything like that, you could pull out your secondary weapon or your primary weapon and just dominate. You know what I'm saying? It's a really OP you know I'm saying, mod that a lot of people like to use. It's very underrated, though. So y'all should, y'all definitely want to pick that up. All right, and step five, y'all. Now, this step right here, this little tip and trick right here. I'm the owner of this tip and trick, y'all. Like, I'm not even on cap. I'm literally the owner of this tip and trick. This is the car. This is the car head glitch tip and trick. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm going to call it. The car the car glitch. Or car head glitch. Whatever you want to call it, man. I got to figure out a name for it. But basically, I do this all the time. If you catch me in missions or anything like that, you would know I do this every single time. 
and you see in my last video, I even did it. You get the car, you jump out on the um driver's side, man, and you just start dumping, head glitching over the car. Easy as that, y'all. Now, step six, y'all, this is a real good exploit. A lot of sweats use this. A lot of people use this, even on even on, on PC and stuff. So, yeah, basically, this is called the breach glitch. If you want to push a door and you got enemies behind it watching the door peeking you, trying to kill you, you just do this. Bomb. You know what I'm saying? It's real easy. Basically, all you want to do is when you run into the door or standing by the door, you want to press your square button then immediately press your X button. You want to like move your analog to the left or right, whichever way you're going. Press square and press X immediately. And you want to like hold them. You press square, hold it, and then press X immediately with, with um, your, your thumb finger. You know I'm saying it's pretty easy. Y'all should understand what I'm trying to say. But yeah, it's pretty easy. And yeah, step seven, y'all. This tip right here is going to be to like evade gunfights and stuff like that, y'all. You feel me? If y'all in a gunfight, y'all out in the open somewhere, you can't really get nowhere to duck off or hide like that, just hop in the car, man. You get it melted, just hop in the car. And especially if there's a pedestrian in it, hop in the car from the passenger side because you'll get in the um, car at least like three seconds faster. So yeah, you get it melted, man. You just dip off in the car on them. You feel me? But yeah, I got one more final tip for y'all, boys. You feel me? I'm not done just yet, man. I'm not done. Shout out to everybody that made it to the whole video, man. If you made it to the whole video, don't forget to leave a like, man. You know what I'm saying? Leave a like, too, if you want me to drop more videos like this, y'all, boys. You know what I'm saying? I got to keep grinding for y'all. You feel me? Leave the comments, and leave the comments too, if this shit help y'all in any type of way. If y'all see yourself getting better in any type of way off, the, um, off this video, leave a comment. Let me know in the comments. You feel me? But yeah, man. It's your boy SOS Rock, man. And the last final tip I'm going to give y'all, boys, is make a female, man. Make her skinny. Skinny as she could be. The shortest, the lowest weight, everything, man. I'm telling you, you're going to be jumping around like a damn pixie stick. I'm telling you, bro. It's going to be hard to shoot you, man. Everybody does it, man. Everybody take advantage of that shit. So I advise you to take advantage, too. You feel me? But yeah, it's your boy. So that's the rock.